Hey guys, what's up? This is Robert with Dungeon Lair. Um, so I'm painting a table, as you can see. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but I'll show you some close-ups of what I'm doing. I think this would be a good opportunity to share with you on how I take care of my brushes. Um, I have some really old brushes that are just beat up brushes for like dry brushing and, and such that uh, I really don't care about but I still try to take care of them so make make them last as, as much as they can but then I have really expensive brushes uh, like Windsor and Newton that are like 15 16 dollar brushes that uh, I I take exceptionally good care of just because I don't want to go out and spend 16 dollars on a brand new brush and Windsor & Newton brushes, they should last you um, a long time, you know, a year or so if you take good care of them. And that's each and every time you paint with them. You should clean them, condition them, and, uh, and store them properly. So I'll show you what I do real quick. This is what I use, the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. By far this is, I've used other brush cleaners before, by far this is, this is the best that I've found. So just wanted to share it with you. Um, this, is, this is what I use for cleaning all my brushes, whether it's my Windsor & Newton brushes or whether it's a brush like this, old beat up brush that I still want to keep it around and use it and get as much life as I I can out of it. So the very first thing what I do and what you want to do with your brushes is just take some good clean distilled water and every time I'm starting a, a brush session I'll clean out my water and I just give it a good little mix. And you'll see right away that uh, your your little uh, tub here that you have it's going to start changing color. <clears throat> And this is where some people who are, some painters who are new to the hobby, they may think that, uh, oh, wow, you know what? My paintbrush looks pretty clean. I got all the paint out of it. But when you open up the, the master's brush cleaner, and what you want to do is just take your brush, leave it a little bit wet, and uh, just start twirling around here in the uh, the masters and you can see look at all the paint that came out of the brush it it sort of looked clean when you're washing it in your 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 water but really it it, it wasn't and so what you want to do is you want to just keep mixing this up in your master's uh, brush cleaner here. I even take a little bit of water and use my uh, the, the bottom of my my cap for my water tub here and then you want to kind of get it all nice and mixed up and then you'll get like a, a little bit of a white lather and just start mixing it up going back and forth and uh, you know on this brush here it's it's really one of my dry brushes so I I'm not really being all that delicate with it I'm just trying to get all the paint out of it and then I go back and when I feel like that I've got most of the paint out of it I'll go back and um, do the initial step over again I'll, I'll wash it real real good in my tub of water And then if you still think that there's paint on there, then I'll go back and give it another um, dab in the, the master brush cleaner. As you can see, there's still uh, some paint coming out of the brush. And so what you want to do is you want to do this step, these steps, uh, over and over again until you have really thoroughly thoroughly cleaned your brush and then come back in here and and 
really work up that lather because you're not only cleaning your brush during these stages you're also conditioning the bristles on your brush as well give it another wash in your water Just gonna wipe it off real quick on a on a paper towel, and you can see here how the uh, the brush is is clean, it's conditioned, and then oh, I, I don't for this brush, but for my my high quality brushes, I'll always put the protective cap back on. When you have high quality brushes they'll come with these little protective caps and you just want to make sure that you keep these because after you can you wash your brush condition it you put the uh, protective cap back on and then what i always do is i always store my brushes upside down in a um uh, you can buy a, a, a paintbrush holder I don't have one of those. I don't feel the need. You can just put it in a container somewhere, just store it upside down, and then uh, it's it's ready to be used next time around. And then you'll notice a difference when you start using the Masters paint paintbrush cleaner and conditioner. That your your bristles on your brush will always be soft and uh, flexible and uh, and protected. And so that's what you want. So you extend the life of your, your high quality uh, paintbrushes that you have. So that's it. Um, if you like what, uh, what you've seen, um, please uh, subscribe and comment. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.